Search your heads, I'm Ailish and today we're going to be talking about battery swapping. Now we all know that waiting for your EV to charge can be pretty annoying and inconvenient at times, but what if there was a way to reduce the waiting time to say, I don't know, the amount of time it would take to fill up at a petrol station? Well, that's exactly what they're trying to achieve in China, where a number of companies are making the move to produce cars with batteries that can be easily swapped in and out. These said companies are effectively moving away from the industry norm of a battery built into the framework itself and are instead opting for manufacturing cars with batteries which can be easily slotted in and changed. Much like you would do with a TV remote that never works. <laughs> Anyone who's been following the EV story over the years will know this is hardly a new idea. What is new about it is that it really seems to be gathering pace in China. And that's something we should be really keeping our eyes on, given how much of a drive the Chinese EV market is doing at the moment. I dive deep into China's EV dominance in this video, which you can check out by clicking the link above. Neo and Geely are two of the major Chinese brands leading the way. And Neo in particular is an interesting story, given how much excitement there is about this brand right now. Neo has in fact just opened their 700th battery swap station in China and have pledged to develop a running total of between 4,000 and 5,000 stations by the end of 2025. Will it catch on? Well, we don't know yet, but it could very well mean those days of getting lost in a social media wormhole while we wait and charge up might be coming to an end. Hell, it could even mean swapping batteries becomes so fast we barely have time to run in and buy that pack of wine gums. We'll have to wait and see. But before we go any further, let's take a look at how this is all going to work. Neo really is pioneering the way with this plan. They're one of a number of companies who've taken the initiative to start designing cars which can be bought without the battery. Battery is not included, one might say. Although this better not be like the time when my mum bought me that Furby for Christmas and then we didn't have any batteries and then I couldn't show it to my texter dog and uh, it was just a really sad day and uh... anyway. The point is, especially in the very first instant, this makes a huge difference to the upfront cost of a vehicle. Batteries are just about the most expensive part of an EV at present, so a car without a battery is, well, <laughs> the savings are really high. Don't get me wrong, you'll have to pay for it eventually, but it could be more economical or more efficient. In other words, there are different ways that companies could go about charging for this, and this should, in principle, at least end up benefiting us drivers, because ideally, it will lead to more choice as to how we go about paying for our car. I love that car. For example, you could opt for a monthly subscription for battery swaps, as Neo is currently offering at a cost of between $150 to $250 per month, or you could buy the battery outright at a cost of around $10,000. Oh, it's never cheap, is it? But the point is that perhaps one day it will be, or at least it could be. Well, as we mentioned before, this isn't a new idea, and it was Tesla who first introduced the battery swapping service concept all the way back in 2013. Ahead of their time again. Who'd have thunk it? Me! But within two years, they had abandoned the idea, preferring to focus on the company's famous supercharger network instead. Supercharging for Tesla owners was free of charge, of course. And more broadly, across the industry as a whole, the focus was on improving battery range and arguably still is. Tesla also saw that the majority of people preferred to charge their vehicles at home overnight. So it made sense for Tesla to move away from the battery swapping stations and focus their energies on improving this supercharging technology. So why is it working in China for companies like Neo if it didn't for Tesla? Well, first off, it's worth knowing that China has something of a monopoly when it comes to worldwide supplies of cobalt. This is an essential component needed not only for EV batteries per se, but for specifically the type of battery used in battery swapping. Whereas companies like Tesla are moving away from producing nickel cobalt aluminium batteries and instead are choosing to go down the route of those made from lithium ion phosphate, Neo are doing the opposite thanks to their competitive advantage in the cobalt field. Where the cost of raw materials in production of nickel cobalt aluminium batteries have soared in the West, China has managed to produce these batteries at a much cheaper cost. There's also the wider issue of standardization. Several companies, including Neo, are working on standardizing the design of these batteries so that they can be used across different makes and models. Now, this seems to be a major downfall in the production of battery swaps in the West, presumably because leading car makers are unwilling to share information. It's classified. Work together, guys. Look, we get it. Business is business. And this is kind of what happens when the EV race becomes, well, just that a race. But the reality is that this is a classic example of something where everybody stands to benefit from a little bit of collaboration. 
Yes, it might mean a spanner in the works for any designs currently being worked on. And yes, there's lead times and politics to consider when it comes to how these companies would go about actually sharing all their workings, let's say. That's my bit of lager. Nonetheless, it can be done. And China is showing us how. Neo has even begun its venture into Europe, with battery swapping stations beginning to take shape in Norway. Norway. And by the end of 2022, they've pledged to build 20 swapping stations throughout five major cities and main roads across the country. It's pretty impressive, but what about the rest of Europe? All the way back in 2020, that's a long time in the life of the EV industry, remember? Neo received confirmation of certification to build battery swapping stations throughout the EU. But to date, there doesn't seem to be any interest or uptake from any other countries within Europe. Don't care. With plans for the UK to take on the initiative, having been rejected, which is a shame, right? So I suppose this means we won't be seeing battery swapping stations around the UK anytime soon, but who knows, if it works well in Norway, then maybe more countries will change their minds and start to introduce them. Another cool initiative currently being pioneered is by San Francisco-based startup Ample, who've invested money into tech for battery swapping vehicles, specifically for taxi services. They've recently landed a partnership with Uber, which means that Uber vehicles will be able to use some of Ample's battery swapping tech and the stations themselves around San Francisco. And there's an agreement in place between the two companies to extend this initiative into seven European capitals by 2025. These would be Lisbon, Madrid, Amsterdam, Berlin, Brussels, Paris, and supposedly London. So let's see. So what does this all mean for people like you and me? Well, right now, unless the major car makers can all come together to design and produce a standard battery for all EVs, unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna see much of a change in this side of the world. But if the Chinese experiment is a success, perhaps it will have a knock-on effect as far as Europe and America goes. We all need a good bit of healthy competition sometimes, right? Will battery swapping end up being a long-term solution to long charge times in expensive EVs as they currently are? Maybe. What do you think? Make sure to drop a comment below and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please make sure to do so. Thanks so much for watching and see you all soon.